I'm here in New York City on Broadway. This is one of the great cities of the world, but in some ways it's no different to any other city. It's a lot of people to cram together in a small space with some fantastic things and some really horrible things. Cities are centers of culture and education and universities and politics, but they're also centers of deprivation, unemployment and social justice issues. By 2050, 70% of us are going to be living in cities. What are we going to do as the church of God across cities? If we don't reach cities and impact cities, uh, what will happen to the gospel? We're here because this is a movement which is happening across cities from New York into India and Africa and across Europe and the South Sea Islands. There is a movement happening where the church of God is coming together like never before. There is a movement happening where people are putting down their differences, their egos, their competition, and they're coming together as one church across the city. What is the future of the cities? Well, in some ways it's in the hands of the church. Are we gonna be remain dysfunctional as a family, where we don't talk to each other, where we don't communicate, where we don't really get on with each other, or are we gonna become a team? Are we gonna become a family that looks out for each other, supports each other, honors each other? The challenge to reach dysfunctional cities is to find a functional church, a church which is unified in love and joy and peace, working together like never before, bringing together all the gifts and abilities that that church can have and bring towards the nation of our cities. We need to work together like never before. We need to be one church in the city. It will take the whole gospel to reach the whole city, but it will take the whole church to do it. We invite you to become part of Movement Day. It's an exciting journey.